Morning, and when you get a can of beer, how often do you actually look at the can? Well, after this interview, you might start to pay more attention. Tim Miner is here with Charlotte is Creative this morning, and you brought a friend along with you, Tim. I did. I brought my good friend, Dave Kavinsky, who uh, we've gotten to know. He does amazing uh, label art and for uh, both Heist Brewing, but also Divine Barrel, where we do a lot of, of work. And with International Beer Day coming up, I yeah. know people are going to be diving in. I know you like to have a good craft of beer course. now again. But I just want people to slow down and think about the creative, you know, the local creatives that, that beautify the outside of the can. So just take a beat. Before you before you indulge, <laughs> yeah. and think about all the hours that Dave puts in to yeah. uh, make it something you want to pick up. You know, it's funny you say that because uh, as I've gotten older, and especially moving here to Charlotte, and I've looked at all the craft beer. Sometimes I get swayed by the label. If it's a cool label, it's something that I take a look at, and maybe that's what I pick. Uh, Dave, you know, you're part of this creation. The 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 artistic process. Uh, take me through that process. Do you even think about what's in the can or do you just use it as a small canvas to let your imagination go wild? That's a good question. A little bit of both really. I, I love uh, creative solutions to visual problems and uh, a beer can or a beer bottle has that uh, involved. So it's a, it's a great uh, way for me to be creative and work with the brewery. They usually just give me a name and a type of beer and I get creative with that and, and do some research and, and uh, come up with some interesting concepts for them. Now, as you've put things together uh, for labels, uh, how long does it usually take for you uh, to have an idea, uh, have that beer that that brewery has given you, and come out with a final product of a label for that beer? I mean, the quickest turnaround has been one day for me. Wow. Uh, but sometimes, uh, you know, up to a week or two, just depending on on you know, if it's a series or whatnot, and I have to do some some kind of uh, thinking about that. Now, tell me a little bit about what's happening this Saturday from 3 to 7. I know at Divine Barrel Brewing, there's going to be a booth for the Nota Bazaar All Arts Festival. Uh, outside of, obviously, the labels on the beer cans, there's also going to be some cool art. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of artists selling art uh, at the Nota Bazaar. Uh, I'll be at the Divine booth selling my prints, uh, and you can come by and, and, and have a sample and, and pick up a print. Yeah, there are some of Charlotte's really truly up and coming artists, people that, that 10 years from now, you're going to be like, man, I wish I had yeah. caught them at the beginning. They're going to be selling their wares all through Noda and at the brewery. So this is a perfect time. Even get ahead on your holiday shopping yeah, and you come go. up with something really unique uh, from a local artist trying to fill our city with, with their talent. Here's another artist question for you, sure. Dave. How much does technology uh, play into uh, how you get that final product? Because obviously, w you, you're not drawing pictures on every single can. You're drawing, but you're mixing technology into it to be able to get the finished product on a can. Absolutely. Um, I, uh, I, I invested in an iPad uh, several years ago, and it's been a game changer for me. Really? Uh, because you know you can have all your brushes, all your mediums, your paints, any kind of uh, you know thing you want to use, and it's it's non-destructible. You can undo it and try things out, and not be afraid to to, to fail. But, you but can, uh, sorry, you can also do something as, as small as a beer can label. Yeah. And as big as a, as a mural. Yeah. I, I got to hit you guys both back on this because, uh, you know, in television and technology, we have scripts. Yeah. Right? And then they move to the iPads. Uh, I still have my script because <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I, just, I just like pen and paper. How yeah. difficult for an artist is it to make that transition from having the brush in your hand or the pencil yeah. in your hand to maybe a stencil with the iPad? Yeah, I mean, it, it is a bit of a learning curve, yeah. uh, but the, the, the amount of things that you save in time is, is invaluable, and it's, yeah. it's amazing tech. It really is. Yeah. Uh, Tim, why is it so important for our local artists to have these partnerships and these opportunities to not only uh, be creative with obviously a new vessel with the beer cans, right. but also be able to showcase their art as well like they will this Saturday from 3 to 7? I think it's, it's important to both. I mean, it's critical for the artists because this is, you know, by, by hiring them to do a label, sure, that gives them what they need to then be doing murals or larger pieces of art or the, or developing their style right they need that to, to to live right but i think it's also important as as you said you used to go to that beer aisle and there were 10 choices sure right now local is the thing and we want when when guests come in or people move to charlotte that should be a source of local pride that local communities local businesses are hiring local artists to make something that's truly of charlotte 
that speaks for Charlotte. And I think that's good for our quality of life, sure. but for the economy too. It's always about sure. supporting local artists, supporting local businesses, and that's what you can do uh, this weekend, Saturday from three to seven, the information up on your screen as we speak. You can go ahead and visit uh, the website or follow them on Instagram. I tell you what, sometimes the decision is being made for what beer to choose for the weekend because of that cool label. Uh, of course, you can follow our friends Charlotte is Creative on their website, Instagram, X, and Facebook.